All right, hey y'all, sorry about that. Also, I'm super happy that I didn't break the thing. I just literally tripped on it a little bit and it pulled the plug out of the, the capture card, which is sitting under the desk, and then it wouldn't reconnect. But then I realized that was part because the camera is hitting the door and you can see it waving back and forth right now that, or like just bouncing back and forth. Um, ebbing and flowing because that's it's leaning against the door frame and that's what was disconnecting the wire as well so I'm gonna have to switch it around Saturn looks pretty cool but we'll have to make it or actually I can probably just move the scope a little bit but that's gonna take a second um, but glad it's working again Ooh. disaster avoided I had a request for catch. Can do that. All right, let me adjust the scope a bit.
Sky and good night to Rick. I'll catch you tomorrow, man. I'll hop on. We'll chat in the evening, maybe, if you're free. What's up to everybody coming back? What's up, one stoner, two cats, and Januli N. Welcome. And Fresh 75, take it easy. Yeah, no gigs, no time really. Like I said, I'm either working or doing this. Streaming does take a lot of time, I gotta say, just you gotta clean everything and get all the gear ready. There's a whole like hour prep around the show or more. And then of course just relaxing afterwards and taking it all in, because I always do that. I make sure that I don't just um, watch it digitally, that I sit on the steps and enjoy it. What's going on, Salvador? part a lot. This one I was channeling something well-placed kind of reverby strings can add this haunting quality to a section. So I just kind of, I was grooving on this bass line right here, programming this drum beat and then playing this all on one, in one take on a synthesizer, a synthesizer, synthesizer, and then messing with it. And then I was just like, oh, let me add this really weird, like, Eastern string bit. I got that fat slamming bass. Bye, amigo. And uh, be safe. Howard says, self-luminescent. I don't know. I feel like if you're talking about the moon, it's likely rerouting the sun's energy. But I'm sure it has some of that, some of that electrostatic energy going on in itself. Very light. 
thin atmosphere. I love these clouds, it's crazy. Rolling in here, 1207, we've hit Friday the 13th, the harvest moon, almost full. What is it, 99 I think? Let me double check here. Ninety eight point nine per cent moving towards being full.
welcome. Please make yourself comfortable and ask around. And uh, I assume it's Joe, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but please, uh, yeah, check out the, the archive. If you want to go through some cool old footage, I got a lot of playlists. And you can check the description for gear and music links. Nice to have you. And everybody else new and lurkers as well. It is super duper cooking hot. But we ride in through and the moon is now looking very clear. So I'm going to do a little bit of a zoomed in tour. The clouds have left us alone. What's up, Vicky? Nice to see you. Ooh, all right.
got the camera direct to scope again. Just playing around here, trying to get the right shot and the clouds keep interrupting our flow. Whatever, a little bit closer up here, North Mari Imbrium at the top, Sinus Iridum and Play-Doh. Play-Doh, so much Play-Doh. I'm gonna just gonna scribble here real quick. Free scribbles. So, Alpine Mountain Range, Ballas Alpis, Plato. That was not good. Plato. I cannot draw an oval. <laughs> Try that one more time. <laughs> Still not good. There we go. Sort of better. That was Plato, Valles Alpes, Mons Pico, Chicken Foot, Montes Recti, Sinus Iridum, Aristarchus. Imbrium, Basin, and then, whoa. Apennine Mountain Range coming down over here.
shout outs to Denver and for the, all the nice words and compliments. Have a great night. I realized, yeah, I was like, guys, it's Friday. Super cool weekend, but no, there's still another day. So, yes, have a great night and a good day tomorrow. Catch you on another stream. What's up, Diego? Welcome. And whoever else is hanging out, wants to shout, let me know. Looking at the real moon. Cut it, cutting edge of space. 12.27 on the clock. And uh, I think the clouds have cleared, dare I say. So we're going to do a little bit of zoomage on Aristarchus and the Imbrium Basin. Now I can scribble again. And as soon as I said that, look at the clouds. No. That's it, right? Come on, go away. Go away. All right, get back. This game of life. Shout out to Catherine from Joe.
Yo, yo, what's going on? Let's see, somebody just joined us. Say, uh, Richard Watmore, what's going on? You might have me mixed up with Paul, is it? From P and K. This is Take Back Space. I'm Chris, not Paul, but uh, you might be referencing somebody else. Either way, welcome, and shout out to everybody hanging out. Who do I got up there? Got Redneck Anomalies, Aristarchus Sure is Bright. Just hanging out here. Just pulled up Aristarchus next to Herodotus, Schroeder's Valley, and then Visala, which is a new feature, or what's a feature that I haven't referenced before, and I'm starting to. And of course, Aristarchus Plateau, the whole diamond region that it's in. Definitely got some clouds still moving through, but yeah, nobody's really landed at Aristarchus just yet. I feel like that should have been the first one. But I'll show you the Apollo 11 site. Whoa, that's crazy. I feel like it's getting hit by the door, maybe. Weird. Oh, no problem, Richard. All good. 12.33. Still humid as heck. And just riding through another awesome space stream. So let's see. There are a lot of features tonight. I'll get back to Aristarchus, but let's check out north of Mari Imbrium. We got Sinus Iridum over here. Half of a hexagon. I'll get my scribbling device out, and we'll get a little bit of uh, geometry going on. But i got to get some instrumental backing track here, something to talk over. There we go. What's going on, Ryan? Shout out North Carolina. Starlight or Diego, when did you see it? Where did you see it? We've seen a lot of things pass in front of the moon. I don't think that was a lunar wave actually. It was probably the camera just being jittery. I didn't notice it kind of move across. It was interesting though. Dirty Sam Squatch, Squanch, <laughs> Squanchy. Let's squanch the moon, y'all. <laughs> Photogeometry. All right, I'm getting uh, a little loopy for sure. I've had a long ass day as well, and just rolling into the f this is only one hour. Damn, it's felt like much longer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's three hours, guys, I'm done. Now, first hour has gone by. That's cool. I want to get a heads up on this moon before it's full in case tomorrow's like lightning storms, which it might be. So we're pl pretty close to full here. Send Duplicat to Aristarchus. I gotta say, that would be one of the places I would visit first. I mean, just go and measure all the different kind of electrostatic energy around the Aristarchus crater, and then Schroeder's Valley, and drive around in that, and put an observatory in Herodotus. Starlight Spectrum says, I can't, Starlight Spectrum, Spectrum, I can't wait for a fourth season of Rick and Morty, me neither, it's definitely one of those crude ass shows, but it's pretty wonderfully written, Dan Harmon, and also really 
Justin Roiland. There are certain people who do voices that are just great, like the guy who does all the voices for Futurama, or the two guys, actually, Maurice LaMarche and uh, Billy West are amazing. And then you have, of course, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, mo mostly Matt Stone, really, all the South Park stuff, and then Justin Roiland. I know that a lot of people rate Seth MacFarlane, but I think he's kind of, like, at, at, at some point, like, it kind of wears on you. Where it wore, wore, wore off the spell of Seth. Yeah, you see all these clouds? But I'll quickly show you. The Apollo 11 site is between Sea of Serenity and Sea of Tranquility. Right around this region. I can, ooh, left all these things up on my... What happened? Did that work? <laughs> so right around here, you got Sea of Serenity, and then Sea of Tranquility. And right around here is Apollo 11. I'll take a quick look and see if I can't circle all of them. Actually, it's a little bit lower than that. Yeah, Les Clark. No UFOs. Not tonight. Howard Ewing lost power. Damn. Watching from the phone. All right, I'm gonna like circle these places. I thought it was here, but I guess I'm wrong. So I guess the Poly 11 is right around here, which is a bit further south. And then 17 is here. That's what I must have been getting confused by. And then that is 16. And up here can't sketch to, but right around here, that's 15, 14, actually let me, I should just write them, I'm <laughs> dealing with a lot of clouds here, but I know it's going to get clear in a second. I'm right, try that one more time. This up here is 15. And then 17 over here. 11 over here. 16. That's about right. So the two white spots that are glowing really brightly, there's Proclus crater, and then on the left there's Copernicus over here. So both of them have that kind of transient lunar phenomenon, <clears throat> which makes it glow brightly. I mean, a lot of the moon does that, but those two in particular here are glowing much more brightly. All right, that's a little lunar scribbling.
rainbow around the moon. Yeah, let me check that out. Oh, it got super duper cloudy. Maybe I'll, I'll switch to the wide shot.
Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah, no fake out tonight, Kimmy. I think I'm pretty tired, actually. Got real cloudy. For some reason, the sleep's just kicked in. So I'm going to wrap it up here, y'all. That's a short one tonight, an hour 15. But we got to see our lovely moon, a little bit of Saturn, and a touch of Jupiter. Friday the 13th, and everything seems okay so far. Although I almost broke my camera and dropped food. <laughs> Hopefully that's about it. Yeah, the, like heavy duty clouds, I feel like it might storm. So, and I need the rest. So ev thanks everybody new. Go through Starlight Spectrum. Have a wonderful night. Howard Ewing, stay dank. Richard Watmore, welcome. Ellie Wynn, as always. Night to the Cats. Januli Ann, thanks for hanging out and chatting. All the kind words. Diego, gracias amigo. Thanks for hanging out. Sick with visuals. Be smart. Joe Salamone and Confirmed, was it Caroline or? Let me see, I'll, I'll find it. And Kimmy and who else? Bon Dia and Les Clark and 24 7 and Ryan in North Carolina and Douglas Sipes. Man, lots of good peoples. Thank y'all so much. That's all I got up to the top. But I'll catch you next time. Respect and peace and kindness and love to everybody. As sincere as it po possibly can be. All right, everybody. Have a good Friday. Stay safe. Stay kind. Stay wise. And Vicky and Hazmat. Good night, everybody.